Hi guys, Patrick here, Eggnot Poker. Going to be doing our next 50NL segment in our series from 2NL up to 200NL Zoom. Again, just a quick shout out, everyone who's been commenting, liking and subscribing on my videos so far. Again, I'm, I feel like the videos are doing quite well and getting pretty good feedback and the view counts are going up and the comments and feedback has been really good. And I want to say thank you so, so much to everyone who's uh, supported me so far. And please keep liking, subscribing to my channel. Please keep leaving comments on what you think of the videos and how I can improve them and how you feel like I'm playing and everything else moving forward. So let's jump straight back in the action. Again, adding a little bit of music. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. See if we can get some shenanigans going today. Right, sorry, I was loading up the um, tracker four there. Should be coming up. There we go. You guys can't see it, but uh, I can. That's all that matters. Can we mark an upper players? See if we can get any. Uh, get our color code sorted before we start. Easy fold, table one with our ace jack. And pitching the ace four, table two. Again, thank you so much, guys, everyone who supports me so far with the channel. I'm really, really pleased with the types of players and the types of people that are joining this little community that we're starting. And it's the right kind of crowd, you know, a welcoming crowd, a friendly crowd, people who want to learn, people who want to improve. Not necessarily just from watching me. I just mean people coming together. You know, it's nice to have people jump back and make a community and everyone can feel comfortable and welcome again in the game. Um, a6 off, I'm going to fold in the cutoff. I think I prefer ace5 or ace7 off and above. Made the ace3 suited, seeing how the action goes. Mainly 3 betting with a small amount of call, I believe, versus UTG. Uh, playing 7.5 PBs, cutoff and butt on. Versus population, we're going to be just pitching if we get full bet. Uh, jack 7, easy fold. Queen 9, uh, I think we'd be looking for more hands like Jack 9, 10 9. I think Queen 9 off is a little bit loose in the cutoff, depending on what the. the Opposition is like, I suppose. We can defend the king five seater in the big blind. We can three better. Um, versus in a very small three bet, which well, this is an easy fold anyway. But I could do some calling and some three betting against the bottom. Ten five suit is probably quite close against a two point three. Um, this is a really good test, actually, if I remember. I think against a min open, this defend. I don't know about two point three. I'm going to go with a defend, but I think this might be slightly out. I think we might be looking for like ten six, ten seven. Could be wrong. This might be a defend versus two point three. We'll go with it. Could do some check calling and check raising table one. I don't mind either. And I think all sizes are fine on table two. Against a larger size, I think we're just going to be primarily calling. I'm not going to be leading this turn. Let me check calling. I think you could probably do some check raising, but I think check calling is 
mostly preferred, especially against large size. And checking river. I don't think we're ever going to turn this into a bluff. I think we would have been a bit more aggressive with a set of fives by now. So I'm not going to use my five blocker as any kind of river shenanigan. Nice hand. It's nice to see the 15 L pool still nice and loose. Weird keg. Uh, turn it off to... I think we pitch versus button. I think like 10-9 is uh, what we're looking for. And that guy's extremely tight as well, which doesn't uh, give me any confidence to, uh, to defend. Uh, we can open queen eight suited. Uh, yep, queen eight suited hijack, I believe. I think queen nine is UTG queen eight hijack. Folding eight six and seven five. He's king, table two. See if we can make something work. Uh, versus the raise in the call, we're going to be three betting in the small blind. Going to be doing a small amount of leading, table one. Um, I'm thinking about size here. I think about 11, 11 and a half would be good. Against um, UTG in a flat. We never have it. We always have a tough spot off the bat. Um, 6, 7, 2 to be can do some opening um, on extremely low roll on a fold. I think out of the small blind, we basically want to be doing a large amount of sea betting with our entire range. I bet very small multi way. Gonna have to be doing a lot of double and potentially triple barreling. We block King Queen of Spades, Ace, Queen of Clubs, so this would be a natural triple candidate. And of course, we still have Queens, Aces, Nines, Kings, Ace, um, etc. So I think this is just gonna be a predetermined triple unless uh, something interesting happens. Like something like this, for example. This is nice, easy fold now. This guy's extremely aggressive, but I mean, there's nothing else to do. I think with an easy fold. We would be tripling that one off with those blockers. Very, very nice blockers. Ace King again. Take two. King six off there, a bit, bit thin. I think we can have some opens with King six, King seven, King eight off. Um, I rolled really, really low preemptively, so I just followed it, but you could probably get away with it, depending on the uh, the big blind, I would think. Um, need your help, by the way. If there's anyone in the chat that is really good with tech or internet or anything like that, I'm with... Uh, broadband and I've got a pretty fast connection but I'm in a house share right I live with a couple of other guys so um, internet's never going to be amazing but the download speed is really good but my upload speed is just awful um, and I have some frame drops and some issues and um, pocket fives um, would be a low frequency open I think it's sixes and above pure I'm gonna fold and we're gonna be three betting V king green off table two um sorry if anyone knows how to increase your upload speed without paying for extra connection which is plan b but i'm looking for a plan a please let me know in the comments or email me um details in the description on my page as well but please let me know if you have any tips or tricks because i'd love to know because i'm not super keen on buying a, a massive contract as i'm probably not gonna be living here for very long but yeah if you know anything please let me know i'd really appreciate it massive massive shout out to anyone who can help with that let me know Jack four, easy bitch. Mm. Folding the deuce seven. Two percent three bet over a 900 hand sample. My God. No offense to this guy if he's watching. 
We can call on 3-bet. Table 2. This guy looks like an absolute death death lord. He's 4-betting 20%. Oh my god. I think I'm just going to defend as a call. I don't think I want to 3-bet that gentleman. We could potentially 3-bet Table 1. Let's do it. Actually, no. The reason I'm not going to do it is because I've got this guy who's very short. I don't want to 3-bet and have this gentleman jam on me behind. I think I'm just going to get away from it. And easy defend table two. Again, I'm not going to take any aggressive action against this guy. This guy looks like he's just an absolute mental case. Which is good. I prefer that over being in it, to be fair. I uh, don't think I'm going to be leading on this turn. I think this is going to be a check fold. I've got so many better hands I can defend. Um, this is a weird spot. This is a limper who leads half pot. A hand could probably raise, could probably call. If he's got a king, he's never falling. He's probably got loads of flush draws. He could have some shit king X. I think just calling and seeing what happens on the turn is a good shout. And we'll see what this guy's sizing is on the flop, on the turn, sorry. Um, I think exploitatively, this guy looks like he's bluffing. I, I'm just going to assume this guy's over bluffing for over bet on the turn with these ridiculous stats. But that's not going to convince me to do any shenanigans there. And I don't mind betting table one, assuming that this guy's probably got a lot of flush draws. I'm going to guess. I don't really want to bet in theory because I don't want to get binned. I don't think this guy's going to bin me. If he does bin me, then good for him. I'm just going to try and get some value out of a flush draw. And then checking back river. Fold is fine. We'll take a fold. However, in theory, again, betting there isn't awful, but it's not amazing because you're just kind of putting in money with a sort of marginal made hand. And if you get raised, you get binned and have to fold and you can just check and realize and build a defense range like that basically is nice and simple it's one leak i used to have a lot is i used to just be like whoa you've checked haha -ha. you're weak you're gonna fold let's do loads of bedding with like marginal hands etc and then you just get absolutely annihilated if the guy actually knows what's going on uh table one i don't mind stabbing i don't mind just checking back i'm gonna stab this one I'm trying to believe. I'm trying to think if I want to overbet here with the king x, as he has a natural advantage. We should be three betting ace king, king jack, things like that. We do block some king queens, some king nines, uh, and we got some decent back doors. So I don't mind betting this. I think I'm going to go because he's got a nut advantage. I think we just have to bet small or check. Um, I think a third is fine. I don't want to bet really, really big because he's still got all these huge hands, right? If we want to put a, a bit of pressure on sevens or like ace jack, we don't have to nuke, right? And the times he has a good hand, we don't want to just uh, start sledging. I'm going to fold table two. Ace is again a really bad card, but losing to a lot of his natural checks like ace highs, and his range is absolutely going to improve. Ace say ace deuce, ace king, ace queen, ace jack. We're going to be checking back, maybe bluffing a 10 or a jack or a diamond on the river, seeing how we go. That's a good card to potentially bluff on. And table two, probably never betting this combo, I would think. I think we're just checking, maybe doing some river bluffing, we'll see. Uh, not versus this bet though, he's folds. This is tough because this guy can also have a pair of jacks. And he doesn't rep Queen 10 very well. So the question is, do we want to go fold or do we want to go this? <laughs> Jamming is completely fine here. We could have stabbed uh, Queen 10 and checked back. It sucks a little bit to block some of the diamond combos. And this guy can absolutely improve to a hand like King Jack and Jack spot. I mean, we block Queen 10 and we're bottom of range, right? So good luck us. You decide. Power. Thing with that type of spot is you have to, if you're going to go with it, and I'm not going to, uh, this is pre back seating myself because it may have been a bad size. I don't think like 200, 300, 400% pot works there if you're going to, if you're going to pick the size. I think actually just the full hammer works because yeah, you could argue it allows him to play better. But the thing is, if you want maximum fold equity from like two pair, for example, or like top pair, just go for it. If you've got a straight there and you've got you would you would also on the other hand want maximum value. So it works both ways, doesn't it? I don't know if we're supposed to have a pair there as well, like a bottom pair with the gut shot to make that play. So don't don't assume that's the natural um play, because it it might well need a pair blocker as well, but YOLO. Um table two we check back, I think, on a low roll, the four three deuce, and I think call and three back both fine table one. I'm not thrilled with a three X. I'd prefer to um, against 3x now, I'm probably incentivized to 3-bet more. Um, yeah. 
I'm going to three, but I think more, I'm more incentivized to, uh, to res. Um, I'm going to just call table two. And we're going to be calling river. We're not thrilled about it, but we beat value. We beat ace jack, king jack, four deuce, four three, jack three. Uh, we block some backdoor flushes, etc. Four six eight. We're not going to be doing any betting, I believe, with this combo. I think checking is fine. And we're just calling the river. Nice hand, nice hands. If he's got a backdoor flush, when we've got top two and a diamond blocker after checking about the flop, you can have the money. Good board for range, table one. I don't think we need to nuke this. I think... Uh, I think a block will suffice. We could do some river bluffing as well. And now that we have a club blocker in our hand, this is going to be a shove. We can represent something like king, queen of clubs, king, jack of clubs, king, ten of clubs. Good luck us. Trying to bin a one pair, or maybe two pair. Nice. Two for two on uh, Han Commitment, boys and girls. Mm -mm -mm. Table two, we've just got absolutely nothing going on uh, against a small blind flat as well, I'm a bit concerned. But the board is so good for us. Like, yeah, the small blind is going to be more condensed, but... We're kind of bottom of range here. Well, I say bottom of range, but you know what I'm saying. Like, kind of just a shitty hand. I kind of prefer betting this just as a, just as a, de as a pure thing at this level. I think it's just going to perform better. We can probably do all sizes here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind large. Wouldn't mind small, medium. I think it's probably okay. We'll see how we go. And with this candidate, I think we're just done. We could potentially river bluff as well because we can have a hand like king queen that might check back and bluff river. Mixed defense with the 8-7 off. We're on a 50, yeah, we'll pretend we rolled 51. We'll defend. And on this river versus check, we'll absolutely be bluffing. Now we're very low down. Unless a villain wants to lead. If he leads, he's going to win. If he checks, he's going to get binned. Unless he's trapping. Uh, checking back table one. I don't think we're going to be bluffing with this candidate. And our natural size for flushes is going to be a mix, I think, mostly large, but some small. With king high, I'm going to elect for a large size. And we're taking over bet. Good luck. Trying to bin, like, queen nine. Three for three. And a fold table one. King jack, we can mix between three bet and call. Cool. I've rolled high, so you know what that means. That means 13, please dealer. And a nice easy fold. Oh, King Jack in a 4-bet range. You could 4-bet this. Yep, King Jack's in there. We've rolled a 92. You know what that means. More, please dealer. Fold. Yes. Gonna wrap it up in two minutes, guys. I've been um being told apparently uh Queen Deuce. Queen five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I can't actually remember if we have Queen Deuce in an opening in the small blind. I don't know if we do. That might be a really terrible fault. Don't hold that against me. Uh, I've been told apparently that like 15 to 20 minute videos segments are better for poker. So I'm gonna go with that theory and see how we go. And I'm just gonna keep it sweet on 20 minutes so far, so. One minute to go. See if we can get any more bins. Uh, no, just us being binned. Fold table two. Pocket trays. Table one. And aces. Table two. We've got a note. What's our note on this guy? Weird aggro. Wow. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Weird aggro gentleman. Cool. Check. Rolled 100. I'm wondering if we do any overbetting in the big blind. I think we are very polarized here, so I don't mind going for a small overbet. Let's do it. And defending table one. We're very polarized here on table two, so we can do large betting and checking. 
Having the Ace of Diamonds blocking Ace King is irrelevant, but it's annoying to block some of the Nut Flush draw combos. But I mean, again, he's got King Queen, he's got King Jack, he's gonna pay. We're gonna have bluffs there, so if we're gonna have King Four, uh, Ace Four suited, for example, then we probably should have Aces. River is set. I'm trying to think what the best line here is. He doesn't have Four Five, I don't think, in this line. I'm thinking about check raising or betting one big blind to induce. I'm gonna bet one big blind to induce. Nice hand. You could just absolutely nuke the river as well, but I think this guy's just gonna auto. I think he looks like he's in auto check back mode. And we got called by nine, so he should have really bet that on the turn. Had we checked and check raised, I don't think we would have got paid. He may not even have bet himself. We could have bet slightly more, but however, I would rather add a set of threes into my check raise nuke range or into the 10% um, deceptive trap range. That's why I don't just block with it. I would in fucking nuke with it. And we're going to be setting out next hand on every table and finishing there. Ace eight's a win and Jack eight is a loss. Thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been a pretty turbulent one, a fast and furious. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I'm loving doing these videos. I'm absolutely having a blast and I hope you are too. See you in the next one.